Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso and today we're going to talk about the IESBA Strategic uh, Strategy and Work Plan or SWP um, that's going to cover them from 2024 through 2027. Now this is not the first organization to issue a three-year plan. In fact, the Professional Ethics Executive Committee peak in the AICPA in the U.S. issued a three-year work plan recently. Uh, they're actually wrapping up their three-year work plan that was going to end in 2024. So work plans are pretty common to kind of set aside what do we want to do, uh, what are going to be our, our strategic direction, what are our priorities, what do we want to accomplish over the next few years. One, it helps those members who are on the committee to know what they're going to focus on, and two, it helps that uh, the public to understand what the role is of the standard setter. So IESBA strategy and work plan uh, sets out their vision as well as their strategic goals and actions underlying their, co uh, their, um, their code. Uh, what, is, what is it that they do? What is it their impact going to be? And they have a very broad vision. Um, so the vision is to achieve global recognition and acceptance of its ethics, including independent standards, as being a cornerstone to ethical behavior in business and organizations, and to put public trust in financial and non-financial information that is fundamental to the proper functioning and sustainability of organizations, financial markets, and economies worldwide. Now, in the United States, we do have a separate Ethics Standards Center, PEAK, the Professional Ethics Executive Committee, but they have a strategic priority to have IESBA convergence. So as IESBA is updating their projects, the PEAK always is monitoring what IESBA is working on uh, and considering it for their own projects and agenda. In addition, there are several uh, representatives from the U.S. who sit on IESBA or, or participate on IESBA committees in order to participate as these standards are coming out. Um, so this is a very large, broad vision um, around really being that global uh, ethics standard setters. And they are looking at two uh, strategic drivers, our environmental drivers and then the operational drivers, things like rapidly changing goals around sustainability information. We saw the SEC, we saw California, right? This is not just a global item, very much impacting us here in the United States. Uh, so the IESA standards around sustainability are a key focus there. The expanding role of professional accountants in business, so not necessarily always a CPA. Um, trust crisis, right? And people relying on it, especially when we have these huge corporate failures that make the news. And then technology and its transformation. On the operational side, heightened expectations, um, the imperatives of quality and global acceptance of those standards as being that sort of high end. Um, and then the operability, making sure that the enhancements are being made as needed. So when we look at what their focus is going to be on, there's going to be two core focuses, one on firm culture, what actions can IESBA take to um, really look for persistent high profile cases of unethical behavior, right? Think, you know, cheating on CPE studies. Uh, how can we improve culture and governance? And then expanding and extending the impact of the code beyond accountancy, especially with sustainability, right? We know that many countries do not require accountants to be the ones to provide assurance on sustainability. So how can we use the sustainability um, ethics, not just for accountants, but for all who are going to provide this type of assurance? So when you're looking at the strategic themes within this uh, work plan, you're going to see enhancing trust in sustainability reporting. If we're going to be putting out there, we want to make sure we don't see any greenwashing. We really see that they're putting out uh, accurate information, strengthening the code or responding in other ways beyond the uh, sustainability reporting and assurance. Further uh, enhancing the diversity of stakeholder perspectives and the global operability and acceptance of its standards. So again, uh, when you're trying to be worldwide, making sure you are getting enough feedback from everyone and then widening the influence of the IESBA standards through continued focus on adoption, adoption and implementation. Um, so here are the projects in the 2024 to 2027 work plan. You're gonna see, again, things that they've already started, sustainability, use of experts, and collective investment vehicles, pension funds, and investment company complexes. Things that they're gonna add, that firm culture and governance, big focus here as well as exploring extending the impact of the code to all preparers of sustainability, not just to accountants. Uh, development of the professional uh, profession agnostic independent standards for sustainability, for again, not uh, those that are going to just be CPAs. Uh, the role of CFOs and other PAIBs. 
uh, uh, business relationships, audit client relationships, audit firm, audit client relationships, and then a post implementation review of group audits. They also are looking at definitions, custody of data, and communications with those charged with governance. So as you can see here, they've got some uh, post implementation review as well. So it's gonna be a busy three years, which means for us in the United States, we obviously know that Peak is looking at this and we can expect to see some activity on our end as well. All right, well, that is a wrap on this week's blog. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you on a future blog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.